Well, welcome to my talk. Uh, my t-shirt today is the Takuro Spirit, which is a car that, as far as I know, you cannot buy on planet Earth. Uh, it is a it's a it's a Stephen King, the author Stephen King, the master of horror creation, and in his canon of books, uh, he in his books there's there's many different worlds and they're all related to planet Earth, and you can travel to them, and in some of these different planets, uh, this is a common car. It's as common as a Chevrolet, so the Takuro Spirit. If you happen to be driving down the street and you see something that looks like a maybe it looks like a Toyota Corolla but it says Takuro Spirit on it, maybe it's somebody who's playing a joke on you and they've just rebadged their car. Uh, you know, nobody believes that you can go in a portal to another room. But, yes, there are people on the internet that think you can go through portals to other worlds and other dimensions. I mean, theoretically, according to the science of uh, the many worlds interpretation of quantum theory, and you can look that up, it's freely available on the internet, many worlds interpretation quantum theory, you look it up and they say, it's it's bizarre, but if you follow this and you just follow the direction, it means that there are other other versions of planet Earth. Uh, I don't know. I mean, you, well, you can play with it in sci-fi, but if it's real, then you got to figure on like uh, we just recently lost the great physicist Stephen Hawking, and you know his one of his warnings was you know. Is it a really a, a really smart thing to to send out signals to outer space, letting aliens know that we're here? Because he said the universe is very old. It's much older than even our star, which is about three and a half billion years old. And if there's um, different uh, different, I don't know if you call them races, but different types of civilizations out there, uh, there's no guarantee that they're benevolent. There's some possibility that, that they could come here and look at us as, as just being pests and to be exterminated. Um, other ideas that some other people have got are that, uh, that Earth itself is a bit of an experiment. Um, some different people, I mean this is just stuff that I read. I read a lot of odd stuff on the internet and you know, so you get a lot of weird points of view, but some people say that uh, some of these civilizations they send their spirit or souls here to, to earth and incarnate and they incarnate and they become human. They're born to human mothers and they, they're human, but they originated in, in other solar systems and other dimensions. Uh, they came in here to do the grand experiment to be human. It's far-fetched, but I don't know. It's a rabbit hole when you start trying to figure out how how life on planet Earth ever originated. Where did life come from? I mean, great questions. And, you know, there's, there's lots of theories. There's lots of kooky ideas. And, you know, like some of the ones that we got in high school were like, well, um, you know, if you had pools of water in ancient Earth, and then you had an electrical storm that came by, maybe if the lightning hit the water, uh, it might um, jumble up some of the chemicals and create some er some early proteins or nucleotides, etc. I mean, there's lots of different ideas of how it might have been. There was also ideas that um, panspermia, that uh, there was ancient races of, of um, I, I guess you would call them aliens, but that went around the universe and, and, and seeded different planets with uh, with different types of life. I don't know. You could look it up, and you know who's to say. I don't. I don't have any particular answer of which one is correct. But you know, theories are theories, and they get you thinking. Um, the ideas that uh, that some of the sci-fi uh, TV shows and movies have have given us uh, could be variously interesting to horrifying, scary. 
Uh, you know, it depends on how benevolent uh, these other beings might be. And as I said, Stephen Hawking said, you know, this might not be such a good idea to let other beings know that, that we're here. Um, maybe I'll just leave it at that and, you know, you can just ponder that. Because, you know, we certainly know just among human beings that we do have some that are incredibly predatory and uh, uh, vile things. So, who's to say that there aren't... You know, but in Star Trek, the original version, you know, like the arch enemy were the Klingons. And, you know, there was other, there was the reptilian Gorn. And then in different version of Star Trek, the next generation, you had the Borg. Um, so, you know, if there are other civilizations out there, who's here to protect us? Um, you know, if you want to go far out and wacko... Uh, one of my favorite wacko people is David Wilcock at uh, DivineCosmos.com. And he says that, uh, you know, there's, there's the angels, the traditional angels, but he said that there's uh, 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 maybe more than one group out there that are working to protect uh, humanity here from really nasty things. Mm. So you can go look that up and... Uh, I don't know. I mean, it's a rabbit hole. It's it's a rabbit hole. It's fun, but it's also, you know, it's more serious because it gets to the roots of where does evil come from? What what possesses people? Is is it is it demonic possession or or what is it that that makes people uh, do everything from robbing little old ladies of their purses to to you know to murders and. And then the great mass murderers of history, Hitler and Stalin, for example, Pol Pot. Uh, just, you know, how does it, how do people fall to such depths of, of, of horror, you know? And, you know, we have got all kinds of famous characters in the movies, like Hannibal Lecter, that just, you know, it's a, a character, but... You know, the, these people exist, according to the news. You know, the Jeffrey Dahmer out cannibalizing people in Milwaukee, for example. Uh, you know, it just... What's the source of evil? And, and you know, how do people get get evil? Um, you know, some of the things that, that people say are, you know, it's societal. And it could be because... Of the intense greed of the of the one percent that own everything on the planet, uh, you know the top four people, top four richest people on the planet own as much as the bottom three billion people. So the greed, and you know the the in traditional Christianity, that it's a sin. It's it, it's called gluttony. Uh, you're a glutton. It, it's it's just you're you. You're not satisfied with your own piece. You have to own everybody else's too. And, you know, the the, the feeding chain of capitalism, you, you, how can you not call the people the top gluttons? If you've, if you've got all this stuff, um, the great example in history is, is Andrew Carnegie, who became very, very rich in steel. But he gave away his fortune. And, um, you know, he created a lot of libraries in cities all over the world. So, I mean, philanthropy, um, the, the good example is uh, Bill Gates, who gives away a lot of money. So, not everybody that's at the top is a glutton. Uh, uh, but there are certainly some people that seem to be gluttonous there. Uh, and in the end, you know, if you have to look at it from, uh, uh, I don't know, balance of probabilities, I would have to say there's a lot of gluttony out there uh, among people that, you know, that... that uh, prey on the, 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 the six billion or nine billion people that are below them on the feeding chain. And I, you know, if there was a way I could change it, I would change it. You know, I, I think it's a, it's a terrible evil that, that just a few own the planet like that. Uh, anyway, so um, other ideas that come about are ways of getting to other worlds. You know, in Star Trek, you could, uh, you could get there on a spaceship. Uh, you could use very long-range transporter beams. Uh, there was an episode where Gary Seven used a very long-range uh, transporter beam. Uh, in the movie K-Pax, we're not really sure how K-Pax managed to come to Earth and, and disappear, but he did. 
Um, there's the idea that there's Stargates from like the Stargate series of televisions. And, you know, there's people that, uh, you know, that they can give you different information and you just look on the internet and get different ideas and whether it's possible or not. Um, personally, do I think it's possible? I think it's absolutely possible. Uh, you know, these ideas that, that get released in, through, the, uh, through movies and television, they come from somewhere, you know. So, you know, if the idea is out there, the money world theory of, of quantum physics says that somewhere it's really true. So, uh, just points to think about, ponder, and, um, I don't know, welcome to my kooky internet channel. I'm Bobby Burroughs, the uh, Wizard Beasley. Thank you very much for watching, and please take a look at some of my other videos. I'm also on Instagram as Burroughs Bobby, and on Facebook as R. David Burroughs, because I like to have a lot of different names. Thank you very much.